Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to this French model Geom 7 billion. Geom is a French word which roughly translates to William in English and it means warrior or protector. If you are a French and if uh, this is not correct, please correct me. But this is what ChatGPT has told me to be honest. Now, Geom 7 billion is quite an interesting model and the reason why I'm covering it is the background of it. So before I show you how to install it locally, let me give you a bit of a background which was posted by one of the co-founder of Lias on LinkedIn. And I'm actually quite uh, excited about it because this sets a benchmark for public sector large language models because when we use uh, these models in the public sector or in the government sector, security and safety is one of the paramount concern. Um, I have been uh, talking to a lot of uh, you know uh, people who are working in government sector across the globe, especially in US, and all of them have the same concern, which is quite valid. So LLMs are really good as document processing assistant instead of autonomous knowledge bases because of the security concern. And this is what this Geo 7 billion is trying to do. It is primarily geared towards RAG or retrieval augmented generation, which enables LLM to external to access external information, which is not part of their training set. I have done various videos on RAG and its technical implementation if you are interested. So as part of the Albert project by the uh, DINIUM, which is a directorate of interministerial in France, PLEAS has worked on adaptation of current open weight models for writing responses to citizen queries grounded in French legal and administrative rules. So besides a clear necess necessity of adapting the models to the particularities and uh, nitty gritties of French legalese, their main challenge was to be able to ensure as much traceability and interpretability of the generated response as possible, which in this case is not really nice to have feature because it, as it is the case with the perplexity interface. So in this context where majority of the open weight models do not disclose their training corpus and that largely limits their interpretability and auditability, their design decision for this proof of concept Geom 7 billion was to actually constrain the model to respond exclusively by synthesizing administrative sources and producing the reference facts. This model Geom Tell not only generates references to the sources used but also includes citations. Beyond the reliability gains, the systematic citations of sources aims to ensure that public sector AI contributes to bringing humanity back into the public sector so if you're looking for a french model in the public sector i think this is a very very good option especially as it is point tuned towards ragging i believe you can use the similar approach in public sector elsewhere i will drop the link to its model card in video's description have a read through it is in french and you can also translate into english version and they have a lot of good information there more they have even shared the fine tuning script which is really good of them so you can see that uh, you can go on and on and on sorry if i go up click on files then this is a fine tuning script which they have shared fine tuning.py and it is full of uh, nuggets really really good you can even use it for your own purposes uh, but you would just check their license but i think this is really good of them to share everything here anyway enough theory let me take you to my local system and then we will start installing it this is my local system and i'm using ubuntu 22.04 here i have one gpu card of 16 gb vram and my memory is 32 gb let me clear my screen and make sure you have transformers install if you don't just simply do pip install and transformers and make sure you have also a uh, torch installed by torch so the, i already have both of them so let me kick off my python interpreter and then uh, sorry let me import some of the libraries and then we will go from there so first i'm going to import the torch and auto um, model for causal lm and auto tokenizer that is done 
let's also try to suppress the warnings because sometimes there are a few warnings from uh, the hugging face and this is my geom tell 7 billion let's try to download the model let's see if it works in 8 bit okay so i would need to install that bits and bytes so let me quickly do that and this is a thing with these because these things are changing so fast you have to make sure that you have the latest and greatest stuff already there it don't take too long that is done let me clear my screen and let me run this again this is a case with python interpreter where you have to run all of these things again but it shouldn't take too long that is done and now let me load my model let me press enter here and you can see that this time model has started downloading it has three shards so make sure that you have that much space i think it is around 15 gig or something like that so let's wait for this to finish downloading and then we will proceed further the model is downloaded took a long time by the way you can see at the eta and now it is loading the model on the uh, or the short on the gpu that is done let's also get the tokenizer for this model and that should be fairly quick that is done that is good so this is a prop template which this geom tell 7 billion uses this prompt is in french but let me try to explain it in english so it there is a system prompt as you can see at the start and it is saying that you are albert the mason france service chatbot who provides source answers and then there is a user one which says write a referenced text in response to this question and the question is what are the steps in the recovery procedures in the event of over indebtedness and then towards the end it is saying that references must be cited in this way and then there are five examples so let's send that prompt to um, the tokenizer that is done and then let's try to put it on our device which is CUDA or GPU and then let's ask the model to generate the output and it is saying that uh, max length so it is just a, a value error it says that uh, we should just use um, setting max token so let me set that quickly so I have increased that max length to 500 the proper ways to do it with max new tokens but let's go with the 500 at, uh, for this time being let's wait for it model to generate the output the model has generated the output and now you can simply decode it and then you can print it out there you go so you see this is the whole response with the references how good is that and if you're french you can also vouch for it let me quickly check it in the google translate Yep, looks good in the Google Translate as per the references are not available. Amazing stuff. So you can see that um, more and more companies, especially in public sector, they are using these large language models for specific use cases. And as the time is passing, we are observing more and more real world use cases where these things are actually being used. So really good. And I hopefully more and more public sector organizations will start using these as I think there is no other option. That's it, I'll drop the link to this Geom tell 7 billion in video's description. Play through it, let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.